Hi guys. The Reefer here. About a month ago, I finally finished my fallow period in the 93 gallon. If you've been following the channel, you'll know I've since re-added the fish back into the 93 gallon aquarium. And in December, I was thinking it's time for some new fish to go into quarantine. So in December, I gave you three choices. I said I was going to get either a yellow tang, blue green chromis, or leertail anthias. I got one response, tell me to get leertail anthias. So I may have gotten that. I will tell you guys right now, I actually got two two fish. So I'll tell you guys right now, I did end up getting two of what I had listed. And what I'd like you guys to do is, if you guys can go to the comments below, so pause this video, go to the comments below, and let me know which two fish you think I got. So, well, you can pause it, or I'm going to give you five seconds to, to make your decision and go type them in. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. All right, guys. So without any further ado, let's check out what I got. So here they are, guys. I did end up getting blue-green chromis. I started with a group of six. And I currently have four, although one of them is not looking very good. Now, oh, there he is, okay. Now these guys have, their coloration's great. They're not fighting because while well, they're in a strange place, they just don't have time to fight. And I believe what's taking down a lot of them is ick. So the first two, I think they were taken down by Ick. I know there was Ick in the fish shop's tank, just because I did see it in the same system as these Chromis, but I'm not too concerned because I have them in quarantine. I'm currently treating them with Coopermine. So over here. And hopefully, I mean, I hope these four are going to pull through and then what I'll do in the future is I'll try to pick up another group, treat them the same way. With blue-green chromis, the main thing I was concerned about is called Euronema. It's a parasite that lives internally in the fish. And unlike Ick and Velvet, if you get Euronema in your main tank, your main display, it can survive without fish there. So without, um, you can't use a fallow period to get rid of this disease, this parasite. Okay, um, so how it normally presents itself in blue-green chromis is uh, the anal area will be red and that's how you know they've got, they have uronema. These guys look fine to me. So all they're really battling right now is ick and um, they're eating fine from what I can tell. I'm just feeding them flakes because the pellets are a bit too big for them. And here's another special guest and I did end up getting a yellow tang. Now, this yellow tang was uh, rehomed so it was kind of, I think, given up or surrendered to a local pet shop in Kelowna. Kelowna, BC. And like in my previous video when I talked about getting a new fish, I much rather get a fish that is used to aquarium life. From my understanding, he's he's lived in his old owner's tank for three to four years. He looks like he's full grown, so he has that full grown tank shape. And he's pretty fat, so what I like about fish that are eating well 
and have put reserves is that if they don't, if they go through a period of not eating, they're not just going to die. So he's kind of shy right now. For the last few days I've been battling, I'm not sure why he's been battling. I, at first I thought it was flukes from the way they looked on his system and I know most of you are thinking, Reefer, if those are flukes, why didn't you freshwater dip him? Just to confirm, I tried to set up a freshwater dip, but my spare um, tank heater turns out it's broken. So I set up the dip, I set up the RO day water in the two and a half gallon bucket, put the heater in there and the aerostone and I thought it would have taken maybe half an hour to heat two, and two gallons of water. Came back, the water was still cold. I thought, okay, uh, I let it sit overnight. And when I checked in the morning when it was cold, I knew the heater was broken. Uh, I pulled it out and I just, I touched it just to make sure and um, true enough it was. So what I did was I added Prazipro to the water. And then the following day, I noticed what I thought were flukes may have actually been uh, little white dots. Either that or he has both. Anyway, so today I added some cupramine and I'm gonna redose it. The cupramine instructions say two days from now. Um, what I might do is I might do half the second dose tomorrow and then half of that dose on this two days from now just to reach the um, therapeutic level of copper so thank you guys for watching that's it for me thumbs up if you liked it subs if you loved it i'll see you guys next time